ASMR before bed, okay. High gain. I don't know how this is gonna come out. I need to like stop touching the mic, probably. I've got an assortment of triggers for us ready tonight. He loves to scream. And we do encourage him to be vocal, so he's not like disruptively loud, but this mic is very sensitive. Very sensitive. So, the question of the day is going to be Do you have a pet? And is there anything? about them you want to share if you do i feel like i've probably asked this kind of question before but we've already acknowledged that repeats are inevitable now with that said and done let's get on to the first trigger i'm thinking how about we got this cute sushi blanket partner got it for me for my birthday because I saw it in the store and I wanted it <laughs> and we kept walking past it and I kept touching it it's so soft let's see what happens if I put it on the mic
my end, but I don't know. You'll have to tell me in the comments below. that topic of gratitude, we all should be grateful to my partner because a lot of the setup, a lot of me coming down and sitting and doing ASMR again just really wouldn't be possible without him. for the sushi blanket on the mic. Very nice. Put that. Go here. Got a nice blanket back there too. That one's probably coming to bed with me, but I brought it out this morning because I wanted to lay on our new love seat and enjoy it. So you might already hear it a little bit. This next trigger is kind of a channel classic. Curiously enough, also something that my partner gave me. Rainbow slug. there's any videos, any triggers or video types that you'd like to request, there's no guarantee that I'll do it. But I will guarantee that I'll consider it, you know? of them. They're little, uh, like, light up pumpkins. Now, it's like strobe light, okay? So, like, if I turn this on for you guys, if horrible strobe lights are potentially dangerous, you're just gonna want to avert your gaze or skip ahead for, like, just to, you know? Because... <clears throat> They're very cute. Or at least we don't, we're gonna put them up, but we don't know if we're gonna turn the lights on, you know, so. Just very quickly, right? They're bad. <laughs> they're so cute. And my partner's 
Slurp. He's very, very smart. Slurp is, of course, his screen name. Um, link tree below if I remember this time. <laughs> uh, he's very smart. And he wants to see if he can figure out how to rewire it so that they just are on static, stationary, one solid light. Uh, but if not, you know, they're just cute and we just enjoy them anyways. Maybe cut out the bottom and we could put like a electric tea light underneath or something. I'm very excited for Halloween. Um, things are kind of expensive, especially because we're now in the burr months. So I'm like, I always feel like the burr months are expensive. Um, you know, September, usually you gotta deal with like back to school stuff. Um, October, you got Halloween and there's Turkey Day if you celebrate. And then November, you gotta worry about uh, American Turkey Day, and there's, oh, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember what it's called in the States, but here we call it Remembrance Day, which is kind of just like, it's a deal. It's worth um, having a moment to respect, you know? Um, November, people are getting into the Christmas stuff, too. And then, you know, December, Christmas, and all the other holidays. She gets crazy. But I'm excited for Halloween. So, we're gonna be getting some construction paper, and we're gonna make some things to put up in the window. Some, like, bats, and little jack-o'-lanterns, and skeletons, and ghosts. Um... I think the last time Slurp and I talked about what our costumes were all gonna be is Fonzie, our cat, has a little uh, Dracula cape that we're gonna put him in. Uh, and I think I'm gonna be like a bedsheet ghost and he's gonna be a zombie. He's gonna do up his makeup and wear just like really, you know, old clothes. It'll be fun. We already have one box of candy. More on the way. I'm so excited to live somewhere that I get to take Halloween as seriously as I want to. So, be prepared. You're going to hear a lot about Halloween.
the dice bag. There's so many different sounds between all the different like containers, like bags that are inside holding the dice. There's plastic and velvet and fabric. And then there's just loose dice. So you kind of get like a clatter and a crinkle, right? the fact that there's a mic in front of me now. My grandma made me this. Before COVID hit, I used to be part of a DND group in the city. She made this. It's supposed to be a bag of holding. And she measured it to make sure it could fit my dice and contain the container I was already carrying my dice around. She's very thoughtful. I love my grandmother very, very much. I really hope I can go to the city to, to visit with her in the holidays. There's also a chance she might be coming to town. And will be popping in for a visit, so even though she told me not to get my hopes up, my hopes are way, way up. I'd really, really love to have her over, especially if she gets to sit here on our nice comfy couch. I can make her some tea or coffee or food or all of it.
Crazy friggin' deal. Crazy deal. You buy two cereals and you get a milk for free. And it's like not just a little milk, it's a whole four liter. You what? You spend $12 on cereal and you get a milk for free. The milk itself is normally like five or six dollars. Like that's a. It's, it's, it's equivalent. It's basically you buy two, get one free. Um. I mean, it is a buy to get one free, but like the price is basically equivalent. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a weird adult, and I get a lot of dopamine from doing grocery shopping. 